Alright, so now let's go into the Mage's Guild and ask these kind people. Well, about them being ransacked! Chill winds swirl about you as you enter the Mage's Guild and shut the door. Outside, the winter's cold sets in without any signs of stopping. You stamp your feet and crowd close to a brazier that glows hot with fiery coals. As the warmth slowly seeps in, you notice arcane implements and mystical apparati. Appar apparati. Apparati. Stuff. You think you feel a strange tingling over your skin. That's called warmth. You know when you're outside and it's cold and you get warm? Yeah, my fellow Canadians know what I'm talking about. Actually, probably most people know what I'm talking about. But I'm Canadian and I wanted to make a plug about being awesome and Canadian. So, Mr. Wizard Guy, talk to me. Welcome, Alexis, to Winterhold. I trust that the weather has not affected you adversely. Well, it has come to my attention that there have been certain inquiries about the Labyrinthian. My name is Deckard Kane. Um, I mean, Thalen Karn. I'm sorry, I, I, I couldn't figure out what voice I was doing. I was like, ah, I'm trying to do a voice and I don't know what it is. But anyways, and I find this quite interesting. Few have sought out this legendary place. Many less have found it. Perhaps we can do each other a favor. Allow me to explain. A few days ago, knights from the Fortress of Ice attacked a small caravan destined for our guild. This caravan was to deliver to us an object of unimaginable importance, a missing tablet that would help decipher a part of the Elder Scrolls. This piece completed a map to the Labyrinthian. No doubt the knights returned with their booty to their fortress. Booty. I don't know, I've never heard anyone but a pirate say booty, so that's, that's kind of humorous to me. And are now deeply ensconced. Ensconced? I think I actually said that right. Within its walls. We could not hope to get in there and recover that tablet piece. We're not prepared for such an endeavor. Now, if you would agree to attempt this, I would gladly tell you... I would gladly tell you location of the Labyrinthian. Very well spoken there, Mr. Wizard. I believe you missed an R on the end of your U. All I need is the missing piece to solve the puzzle. Will you agree to help us? Uh, well, golly gee, sure, yeah, I'll do that. I am pleased to see that you do not shy from danger. Enough talk, then. Here is the location of the Fortress of Ice. When you have the missing piece, return here with it, and I will share with you the location of the Labyrinthian. Thalen gestures, oh, Thalen gestures once, and the location of the Fortress of Ice is magically inscribed onto your map. Alright. So next, okay, so before we go to the Fortress of Ice, which is our next dungeon, I think it's probably a good thing, uh, a good idea to go ahead and sell off some of our crap and actually get some stuff identified. Actually, maybe I should identify stuff first. Uh, no, I'm going to ask where the, the nearest shop is. I already know where the Mage's Guild is, so I'll just follow my map. So where is the nearest uh, store? Now, I might be wrong, but I look southwest of here. All right, thank you, shady lady. I asked someone else with a better ear. Ah, I see you've met Mike Tyson. All right, let's go uh, southwest. Yeah, so um, I'm going to basically try to sell off as much and then just identify the magical stuff. And even then, I'm going to pick through the magical things and see what I really want to keep. Because I think at this point in the game, I'm going to want to start getting um, some really good gear. Because um, now that uh, Jagger Tharn knows that, um, you know, knows that we're out here, he's going to be uh, gunning for us. And uh, from my memory, when I played through this before, the, uh, the dungeons after... After the uh, first two, like after you get the first piece, uh, tend to be fairly um, difficult. You 
you start getting enemies with resistances and such, and it turns into the classic um, computer RPG or CRPG. So where's the nearest store? Because these these classic games, I'm sorry, to oh, let me see, Southwest. All right, so I'll keep heading Southwest. Sorry to those who um, really uh, like the newer games. Like, there's nothing wrong with them. I like, I love the, I love newer games. But you have not tasted difficult until you have played classic games. Yes, sometimes I get utterly frustrated and I want to... Oh, nice! Man, you people are useless. Let it be known the people of Skyrim are useless. I know where to find all my stuff myself. I'll just call this shop. We'll save this as in-game. This is my working save. You enter Elite Supply Store, stamping your feet to warm them and shaking the frozen snow from your shoulders. Many items of interest hang on the walls and are displayed in the display case in front of you. Where? Where? I don't see no display case. Oh, that was behind me. All right, game. You are very, a very tall man. It kind of looks like a, a, if you were to merge Chuck Norris and St uh, Sylvester Stallone together, maybe with Arnold's body. With yeah, okay, anyways. Enough of the comparison. Let's talk to his abs. All right, uh, guy, I need to um, sell some stuff. I have no need for plate pauldrons. 45 gold? Don't insult me. I'll accept no lower than 60. 60, I guess I can't use my numpad. Or maybe my numlock's not on, or is on. Let's find out. Listen, pal, I don't know who you're trying to fool, but I, I want to hear a real price now. Okay, fine, fine, we'll save 50. No, I, even with the numlock, it will not use the, uh, the numpad. Fine, I'll use 50. I like your style, kid. I'll take that plate pauldron from you. Let's see, 47. Ah, whatever. I must be out of my mind. Well, you've talked me into it. You got a deal, kid. All right, and I got to do this for, uh, dang, everything. A plate helm? Don't need it. Wow. 1,500. Well, we know that's magical, but I can't use it anyway, so let's counter with 2,000. 1900? That's shoddy workmanship. Okay, so I'm guessing it's probably pretty beat up. Let's go with 1850. 1820? Alright, he, he broke the 1800. Let's, uh, let's accept that. Uh, wait, no, I don't want to repair. Don't want to repair. Cancel. Sell. All right, so we uh, we can use the saber. Uh, I don't think we have the need for two bucklers. Uh, let's see what else. Long swords, no need for them. Hmm, 386. Well, I don't want any lower than 400, so let's say 450. 440. Uh, 435. There we go. We're good. Oh man, I, you know the one thing though, <laughs> like 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 I said before, um, I got no problem with new games because in some cases, especially in the UI department, they've definitely made some major improvements. 461, nice. But I want 580, maybe 575. And finally, 570. I'm trying to do this fairly quickly because I know it's probably not the most fun thing to, uh, to watch. So I'm just gonna sell all my long swords. 112. How about 130? All right, 121. I'm cool with that. Um, another silver long sword. Actually, I'll sell this one here. Holy cow! There's not much market for a long sword like that around here. Best I can offer is 18,760. Wow! How about 25,000? 22,000? Alright, now we're getting somewhere. 21... 
1,900. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. 21,140. Oh, I'm gonna buy me sell. I'm gonna buy. My I'm gonna buy me self Boku of uh, magic stuff now. Fifty six. How about this? Eighty. I was gonna say seventy five originally. Sixty. All right. Fifty eight. I guess we'll have to settle on that. Now I'm pretty sure the rest of the stuff is like all magical, so I'm not gonna bother selling any of it until I've actually uh, gotten it. We'll say identified. And once I've gotten it identified, then I can go ahead and, well, sell what I don't need, and then buy some decent equipment here. All right, so let's look at the map. Okay, so we'll head east, or nor north, yes, north, then we'll head east, and then we'll head north upward. Upward, that's right, we're gonna head upward on the map, which is actually north. Um, until we get to the Mages Guild, and then we'll do our uh, identification stuff. So th I'd say this episode here is going to be mostly a uh, getting our crap in order episode. Next time we're going to enter the Fortress of Ice, hopefully. Oh. Now, that's one thing I've got to actually look into, because from what I understand is the um, the game is completely... Um, come on! Alright, while I coax these words out, uh, out of my mouth, uh, just admire the scenery here. Uh, I, yes, that's right. I believe that the, the towns, at least the major ones, were all um, handcrafted. They were not procedurally generated. I think the only things that actually are, are like your randomized dungeons and maybe some building interiors. The Mage's Guild is so omnipresent that all the arcane relics within seem to be covered in a thin shroud. It is an almost soundless chamber, with only an occasional sigh from the pot of boiling liquid on the fire. Slowly, slowly warmth creeps back into your chilled body. All right. All right, Gandalf, let's get some uh, stuff identified. I see that you were unsuccessful against the Knights of the Fortress of Ice. Perhaps you should prepare using what you have learned of their defenses. You may rest in town as long as you feel necessary. The option to try to recover the missing piece of the Elder Scroll lies with you. If you decide to try again, bring the piece back here to me. I will await your successful return. Dylan smiles kindly, patting your shoulder. He then turns his attention to his work, satisfied that your needs have been met. No, they, they haven't. I, I need, uh... Wait, detect magic. Is that how it works? Detecting magic? I thought we had to identify. I can tell you if that's magical, but it will cost you 375 gold. Yeah, sure, I got the cash. The item is now identified in your inventory. Okay, yeah. For some reason, I thought it was called identify. Um... We have an adamantium amulet. Alright, so let's just start detecting magic on everything. You already know what that is. I wish that it would only give you the option to identify things that are not already identified. Torque. What the heck is it? What the, what the heck is a torque? I don't even know what a torque is. All right. Um, mithril belt. Okay, so some things I'm guessing that are blue, maybe that are blue are not magical, but they're just. I don't know. I'll have to look, look into that a little bit more. Um, Dwarven Bracelet. Let's see, Mithril Bracelet, what's this one? No, nah. alright, it's now identified in my inventory! Oh no, I didn't want to buy anything, I wanted to detect magic. 
You know, it's amazing. The, the buttons are huge. They're like enormous buttons, and I still managed to click on the wrong one. All right, Bracers of Wizard Lock. That sounds cool. Bracers of Wizard Lock. Now, I, I, I'm gonna have to actually peruse the manual because some of these, I don't know if they actually describe what some of these things are. Or maybe I should just, we'll say Google. Let, let's, let's talk about old medieval things. Uh, you know, marks and torques and all that. I need to know if they're actual historical items. Mark of Far Silence. Mark of Opening. Okay, so I'm pretty sure at this point here... I know I was unsuccessful. I'm curious. Uh, so is any item that doesn't have a, we'll say, a, a word before it identifiable? So for example, my saber. No, it's just a normal saber. Okay. So let's take a look at the inventory. And we have... Mark of Far Silence, Mark of Opening, Mark of Shielding, Crystal of Stamina, Braces of Sanctuary. So let's take off these and see. Elven Bracelet does what? Oh, okay. So it brings me, uh, it gives me a minus one to my armor class. Oh! Well, I like this one. It gives me like a minus three. So I'm going to start wearing the Mithril Bracelet. Should have known. You know, Mithril, it's awesome. Uh, amulets. Oh yes, an Adamantium Amulet. That really, that's a nice armor class. Alright. So Mithril, Adamantium are good stuff. Alright, um, let me take a look at my sabers here. It's a battered saber, that's my new saber, that's a new saber. So I've got two spare swords with me that I could swap out for, and I've got my short bow. My buckler is used, but uh, it's probably still going to last. And my armor is uh, almost new, so it doesn't need to be repaired anytime soon. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, walk out of the uh, Mage's Guild, and um, we'll save... On the next, uh, the next one, we're gonna go ahead and get uh, maybe some magical items, and then, uh, yeah.